Good morning, and welcome to our next episode of Satisfactory. Uh, this is the day before Fixmas starts, so I'm gonna get so, try to get some stuff out of the way before we get uh, thrown into the wayside of Fixmas. Uh, so I did a little bit of work off camera to go, go ahead and get the uh, the cables uh, made. Uh, I did do some research on uh, some stuff. I got ourselves a parachute uh, I did some other stuff let's go over to the man and show what we did we got uh, nutrients no mycelia yeah we got our uh, expanded tool belt we got one more hand slot and we got our parachute uh, we are working towards getting our next dimensional depot uh, the up upload upgrade. We just got to make the 47 SAM fluctuators, which we can go ahead and probably do now. Oh, we don't have the SAM, but we have the our manufacturer over here that's making our fluctuators. So just grab 47, and we can just go ahead and uh, we animate SAM. See if we can make 47. We can make 16. Let's grab another 100. 33. 50. Alright. Let's go ahead and make these real quick. Then we'll uh, upgrade our upload time. Now we did a little exploring. With it, uh, playing with our parachute. After we get this done, we'll uh, go ahead and get this research done. Then we'll get the industrial manufacturing research done. Then we'll start the uh, the floor for the uh, tier three uh, phase three stuff. All right, so turn this in. So, see what we need to do to make the manufacturer. Alright, alien technology, upload speed. Dimensional upload speed increased. Part of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. Loop the veins, use the flow, make a curve out of a line. Your shallow minds create shallow solutions, pretty ripples. Shallow mind, pretty ripples? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. All right, so let's go ahead and toss these cables in here. And there we go. Industrial manufacturing, ready. Milestone reached. Manufacturers can receive up to four inputs for the production of complex parts, such as computers and heavy modular frames, but most importantly, the two new project parts. The modular engine and adaptive control unit are essential for the development of phase three of project assembly. You are making good progress. The future is starting to look bright. All right, let's go ahead and put a, what have we got? We need, we have everything we need for one manufacturer. All right. So let's go ahead and place the manufacturer up there. And then after that, we will figure out what we need to make the that piece that's 100 first. We'll get that started. Then we'll make another manufacturer for the, uh, the piece that makes 500. I think that's the modular engines. Okay. Let's go ahead and place the manufacturer down. Yeah, let's send it that way. Bigger, better, fix it. Build your first manufacturer. Alright, let's make the adaptive control unit. 
So we need automated wiring, which is those down there. Okay. Heavy modular frames, which means we need. Okay. So heavy modular frames, two computers. Explosive rebar, crystal oscillator. Okay. We're going to need more than one manufacturer, it turns out. Alright, so automated wiring. We already have something going to there, which is on the bottom, next to the floor below us. Which means we need our cables back. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else do we need for the modular engine? Motors, rubber, and smart plating. Ugh. Okay, we gotta send the smart plating over here now. Makes sense, I guess. Alright. Let's do... This needs three things. So the motors, rubber, and smart plating. We can go ahead and do this. Because the motors are right here. Stators. Are there stators not coming? Where's the stators? Stators should be on this floor. What is not okay? Did I move? I broke something off in the stators. I think. Nope. Okay, it's just because they're being slow. Okay, got it. Stators are going in here. Automated wiring, okay. Okay, so let's go. So we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to bring our uh, cables again. Well, now that the cables are done, well, I think. Let's go back and see if our if cables are needed for anything else. If not, we can go ahead and send them back to the uh, dimensional depot. Let's see. Go over here to the hub. Let's look. Uh, okay, not cables there. Cables not there. Cables there. Jetpack. Cables to the jetpack. Okay, so we'll do the jetpack next. Get our, let our cables, uh... Let them get up for that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and send our smart plating. To, oh, is that? Bye. Smart plating has to be moved. Smart plating is not uh, just by itself anymore. Hey, look, our. Uh... All right, let's take this out. Let's go ahead and do it from this way. Let's make this manufacturer go from the back. Top floor. Okay. is going to be motors, motors, motors into there, okay. we need to power you too, and 
and rubber. Rubber is right there. I think right? Yeah. Okay. You want an out. That's an in. Let's do... Then we're probably gonna have to do a conveyor pole right here. Probably two. Smart plating. You do a smart plating probably right here. We'll do a bare lift hole. Then a number three lift. Alright. Now we need to go down. Figure out where our smart plating is going to go. there. Nope, we don't want the Mark three lift. In that way. Let's go down. Uh, can't reach there. Can't reach there. Let's go out there. Flipping may occur. Can we not get to gray rails too steep? Okay. Another one right there. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's do our edit to do list. British industrial manufacturing. Now we're setting up a floor for phase three stuff. That was almost bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and come off of this. Where can we go to? Right there. Surface is too uneven. It's going to clip through a lot of stuff, but not if we go over here. Too 
let's go another hole right there. Let's see how far we can go. Very about too long right there. Alright. Surface is too uneven. Let's clip it. I don't care. Alright, there goes smart plating. Also need to bring our cables back for the uh... all right. Let's go. Where did the cables go? Cables come from down here. No, the cables were up top. On the second floor. Okay. Oh yeah, we're uh, building them for the jetpack. Well, we'll do another. Uh, we'll do another splitter right here. Logistics, splitter. You go to there. You go to there. And then you're going to go up top again. Yay. Do a one of those. Grab you. Go right there. Where's the ladder? There's a the ladder. Uh, can you go in the middle? Where's too long? Where's too long? Alright, we're gonna have to put you like right there. You want know, the middle one? And then you're gonna go back up to there? Where's the. I think the one that I had up there is still there. That's on the third floor. See that? Right, third floor, yep, yeah, okay. Let's go to this floor, make sure the, uh, the cables are still connected in the overhead. 
this looks like the cables. Yep, cables are still connected and they're still going. Okay. And then once they go there, they're gonna get zip. Yep, okay. So cables are now. Made into the uh, these cables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop those cables from going because they're going to have to go up top to another manufacturer. I'm going to go ahead and stop the uh, smart cables. out of this one yep and you're gonna have to go to another place you guys on the bottom can still go because you're still part of the smart uh, smart thing but uh These ones are done for now. Alright. I have a bunch of smart plates yeah, in my inventory, so now we're going to put those in the manufacturer up here for smart plating. Smart plating, go in there. Nope, you can't because it only takes 50. Alright, modular engines. and start sending you down. Belt's too long. Okay. Probably too steep. Too steep, too long. Okay. Let's put them right there then. Oh, I missed. see too long too steep you gotta go over right here looks like long too long too steep all right so we need a bit higher up too higher all right let's see if that's good too steep still too steep still Too long, okay. So that's too steep, so we should probably go get on top of this one. Uh, and we made it. Alright, so 
go to the top of this one. Too steep still. Okay, let's go up. Too steep still. There we go. When did we take out? Taking out the uh, this one. Give me all those. Okay. We're gonna go into that one. There we go. Modular engines are on the way. There they are. Okay. Concrete's good. Silica. It was drops of silica in there. Modular engines on the way. Everything to make modular engines is heading up. Now we need another manufacturer. So we need 10 motors, 20 modular frames. So for the depth control unit, we need these guys, we have them. We need circuit boards, we need heavy modular frames, we need computers. <coughs> so we're going to need a constructor to take With a, uh, yeah. Okay. High speed connectors. I don't need these yet. So, this is going to need computers and heavy modular frames. Alright. That'll be for the next episode to start uh, making what we can do, probably. Now, let's look at our power real quick. It's getting up there. We haven't used our, started using our battery yet. And we can go ahead and put some use in there. One and a half per minute. Two per minute. Yeah, we'll do two per minute. We need four summer sloops to make this into a double. The next one is going to make a two per minute. So let's look at our power. Consumption, production. So our battery is starting to get used. Looks like. Alright, now it's going to make two per minute. 
mass consumption. Battery isn't being touched yet, but we can go ahead and probably make a battery bank. We got one battery over there. Alright, now we're we're going with our modular engine. Not sure our yeah, battery isn't being used yet, but it's there. Alright, that is it for this one. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, I'm out.